Most fat folk of craft world only remember or know of the story of Sack Boy saving Carnavalia. But what you've probably never heard before is what happened behind the curtain. And no one knows just how far the puppeteer went in his tyranny. But in the darkness, there was always a shining light. Through this, a light shines forth and a peculiar little hollow. This peculiar little hollow was something unknown to the others. She was not empty inside or filled with sticky cobwebs and the sort. Inside this hollowed out wooden monstrosity lies hope, fear, love, and compassion. This peculiar little hollow has a heart. And some may ask, how does a hollow get a heart? Some believe it's magic. I believe it's fate. And so begins our tale of the heart-filled hollow. <laughs>
No puns intended, but like a puppet on a string. This to show you a little hello, just float easily along.
Just for a minute or so. Turn your subtitles off. Okay. Turn, turn, your, turn your subtitles off. Turn them off. While the puppeteer, feeling depressed by the mundane, feverishly prepared countless hours. With the machine fueled by his sadness, the window suddenly broke open, and out of nowhere, a picture suddenly flew in, and at his feet lay a memory of happier times, times where children's laughter filled his day. At this moment, this once lost heart beat ever so lightly. This small release of positive energy slipped and slid into the machine. That was the last hollow he ever created. Soon after, the other howled. They grew mad with jealousy. The puppeteer and the last howl soon fled. But to no avail, they were cornered with nowhere else to run. The puppeteer, in an act of unselfishness, gave himself up. So this little hollow may be free. <laughs> Lost, lonely, and afraid, this little hollow ran as fast, as fast as his little foot and legs could go. Soon he came here, where all roads end. Ha ha ha!